If you have hearing loss and need captions to understand phone calls, Caption Call is your answer. Caption Call works just like a regular phone, but with easy-to-read captions of what the other person is saying. To learn more, visit CaptionCall.com slash sound advice. Understanding phone calls has never been easier with Caption Call. Are you concerned about taxes or a market crash affecting your retirement plan? Do you have a retirement income strategy or just a portfolio? If you're concerned about any of these issues, visit RetireUtah.com. Retire Utah Radio has answers and helpful information Saturday mornings, 5 to 6, from founder of Capital Wealth Advisors, Mike Stevens. Capital Wealth Advisors have a proprietary retirement planning process called the True Path Retirement Plan, designed for clarity and retirement peace of mind. Visit RetireUtah.com for your complimentary retirement guide today. KSL's Unrivaled, the Unrivaled NFL Roundup. Premium Grade A Pro Football Stories from your two hosts, a former NFL quarterback and... The other guy. It's the Unrivaled NFL Roundup. Uh, welcome back. It is KSL's Unrivaled. It is the NFL Roundup. Thanks for being with us. Hey, uh, Scott Mitchell, former NFL quarterback over here. I'm what? Alex Keery. Where? The, uh, I got to get his autograph. Sticky Bird Restaurant, Sticky Bird Red Barn Farms. This is where we are tonight. Uh, across from the Cabela's here, just north of Farmington Station. Take a wild guess the city, Farmington, Utah, Scott. So this the is home cool. of Lagoon. Yeah, there's the, yeah, a bunch of kids coming in from Lagoon going, hey, man, what's going on here? Some Idaho kids yes. on spring break. I go, dude, it's fall. They go, huh? huh? <laughs> 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 what? That's not what my mom said. Uh, it is funny to see, like, teen love, you know, <laughs> when they come it in. It totally is. <laughs> <laughs> they come in, and they got the. You got it's the tight like date pants night on. or something. Yes. yes. Yeah. And and you know what's you know what I love about uh, about seventeen year olds who are totally in love is uh, I have no idea. No, what Tell I love me. about it is when they're is when they're they're looking at each other and like they're talking to each other, and they're like whispering and saying things, and they're yeah. all, "You're the only thing that's ever mattered in my world, man." Yeah. And I'm like, "You guys need to get out of Blackfoot, Idaho, bro. Come on." I mean, not where's you guys. Your, Sorry, not you guys. Where's your sense of romance, Alex? <laughs> I know. I mean, Sorry. come on. It's just, you, yeah, you're you you're a, a killer uh, of love. I That's what assume, you. You're a killer of love. Like, a girl walks in, and they're from and they're from this local Idaho high school down for fall break, and and it's like the Montagues and the Capulets, man, but of potato families. You know, like <laughs> it's like a it's like a you know what the Montagues and the Capulets no, are? I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, uh, hey, everybody, I want to apologize for Scott never reading a book when he was in high school. <laughs> That's, those are the two families in Romeo and Juliet, star-crossed lovers. Come well, on. say Romeo and Juliet, so <laughs> some of us not so educated might know these things. Uh, so somebody asked me today, What's, what high school did Scott go to? I didn't Spring go to high school. <laughs> Springville High School? Hey, the English teacher, if you were the English teacher at Springville High School between the years of 1983 you know, it's too, it's, and 19, like, it's I'm too, disappointed in you. It's I'm too, so mad at you right now. I, it, look, it's it's too bad we don't have time for the story about my <laughs> senior English class. I can't. Well, yeah. Well, plus, <laughs> we're trying to keep our jobs here. You know, yes. I don't want to. Uh... Yeah. All well, right, Scott. Yeah. I have a couple of things still. Before we get into uh, our NFL roundup, these are this is a uh, – I have an NFL roundup uh, question for you. And the NFL roundup, uh, what are the odds, is this one. What are the odds either the Arizona Cardinals or the Buffalo Bills win the Super Bowl this year? Because my kid's convinced, oh, yeah, that's going to be your Super Bowl right there. And I'm like, you are such like a – these are two teams who just don't go to the Super Bowl. The Cardinals and the Seahawks? Sorry, the Cardinals and the Buffalo Bills. Oh, okay. That one of those teams win the Super Bowl. Because right now those are undefeated. What are the odds? One of those teams. One of those teams wins the Super Bowl. Oh, you already uh, said the Buffalo Bills. You thought were going to no, be. No, I think close. I think the Rams are going to win the Super Bowl. Oh, okay. Uh, but I'll tell you what, Josh Allen, man, he looks really, 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 really good. It's true. Um, I. What are the odds of this? Yes. What are the odds? Uh, I'll give it. Uh, you know what? I'll give it a Bruce Smith seventy-eight percent. Mm. No, actually, I'll give it a Daryl Talley. 56 percent oh wow it dropped considerably yeah it's a, it's a it's a it's above 50 you know it's it's a little bit more than 50 i think that this is a year that you can get some of these teams man that you can you can absolutely 
Tom uh, Brady eventually has to get old. Yes. Okay. He just has to. Eventually, he, he has to be, get old. And winning back to back is, is and Kansas, massively hard. Yeah. And Kansas City. <laughs> yeah, they, Whatever. They're not playing defense right. at I all. I get you. At all. Uh, I'm going to go with a. Oh, we're going to stay in the same. Kind those of, chicken gonna, wings look so I good know, here. I know, look so good. Get oh, out of here. Oh, my goodness. They're Mitchell, just, would you walk away with those, they're please? They're just We're amazing. trying to avoid. Uh, wow. The sticky fingers are uh, not on our plan. We ate the cauliflower, the fried cauliflower, though. Amazing. Uh, what was I going to say? I'm going to go with a Neil Smith, 90% chance, one of those two Oh, wins. wow. Because I, I think that you're going to see – I think the Cardinals – for as much as they don't have a lot of uh, experience, like I mean, you need you need some staying power to be able to go through the playoffs. You can't just have an amazing regular season. We've seen that before, but I think that there are enough newcomers across the uh, across both conferences to say, you know what, this is a year that a Buffalo Bill team or a Cardinals type team win the Super Bowl. So right, and and you have these young quarterbacks that are really becoming elite quarterbacks. Kyler Murray, Josh Allen. I mean, these guys aren't just. You know, placeholder guys. These aren't these aren't like the Derek Carr kind of guys. These guys have have really elevated their game to another level. Okay, and but think about they've what? just continually got better and better and better. And that's when you start seeing these teams and these players uh, end up in in the in the Super Bowl. You remember the season Lamar Jackson won the MVP? They went, I think, fourteen and two or fifteen and one. Like it was an insane stretch for them, and and they were nowhere near being Super Bowl champions that year. And so I, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to happen just because you have an amazing quarterback because even having the NFL's MVP. And you, you look at last year, Kansas City played really good defense, and so did uh, so did the, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So you've got two teams uh, that you're right. I mean, qu- quarterback play is what happens in the NFL in today's NFL. You've got to have a good one. But if you have enough defense, then you can win championships. Uh, Scott, let's get to the old roundup here as we uh, rolled up here. But I wanted to, I wanted to uh, bring this up. Speaking of the Cardinals, they've had a, a handful of players that have been hit with uh, with the COVID, with, with the COVID. They're on the reserve COVID nineteen list, and uh, and now Cliff Kingsbury, their head coach, is also not going to be uh, participating in the game because uh, this COVID outbreak has uh, extended that far. Uh, hey, get the old COVID outbreak uh, out of the way quick with your team early on in the season. You're not going to have an undefeated uh, season, so you might as well lose a game or two. The Cardinals are going to be missing a bunch of guys this weekend, including their head coach. Yeah, and it's a, it's a little challenging when you're moving around uh, as a team, traveling and, and kind of getting opportunities to overexpose yourself. But beyond the team travel, I mean, really, as a player, you should – you know, a lot of these guys go out during the week and they're they're out socializing, whatever. A lot of them go, and that's what they do. And and it's just one of those things where you just you just have to say, for however many you know months of this season, four months, whatever. Uh, I just I just have to be super vigilant about about what I do because it's just it's too easy um, to to you know to get sick. I mean, it, it's it's you know, I would think most of the players in the NFL have been vaccinated, but Maybe some of them haven't, and uh, or or maybe they, you know, they they get exposed. I don't know, but man, you just you just have to be super vigilant, and it's hard because you want to blow off steam, you want to kind of keep balance in your life, but you just kind of say for these four months, man, I just I gotta keep it quiet. Uh, so you remember when that quarterback assistant uh, for the Jets, George Knapp, died right before yes. the season in that horrible bike accident? Yes, right before the year. Eight days before the the first uh, or before camp started up, Steve Young uh, says that he feels like the the Jets that that loss actually has uh, has put the development of Zach Wilson back considerably. I don't know what a quote unquote quarterback whisperer type guru would do for a guy like Zach Wilson, but do you think it's enough of a, oh, I, I, of a I loss totally, to be able to say he he definitely has lost development because of not being able to have one thousand percent? You know, especially since the the Jets don't have a proven other quarterback. I mean, you, you, yeah, you may get a, a quarterback whisperer, but to have another quarterback, uh, you think, just think of Tom Brady being behind Drew Bledsoe uh, for a year or so and watching and, uh, you know, even Steve Young. I mean, Steve Young learned a tremendous amount from, from Joe Montana right. and that whole situation. So having people that really, really understand uh, – I'll give you Dan Marino, who, who who played early on in his career. A lot of his success he attributes to Don Strzok. 
And Don Strzok was a guy that really kind of took Marino under his arm. Which is funny because that's not a name that no. hardly anybody would know. No, but it's, it's they that. They don't know George Knapp either, right? I no, mean, but it's, that, it's someone who really understands the game of football and understands what you go through mentally, and he understands what it's like to be on the field and have to make those reads and those decisions and how to kind of simpl- help you simplify the game in your head and uh, and not having that. When, when you're just – Man, when you're Zach Wilson and you're just figuring it out kind of under fire and as you go along, man, it it is a long, bumpy, hard road to have to deal with. And that's probably why Zach's going, I got to I got to see John Beck. I got to see, you know, I, 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 you know, because he's probably just dying right now because he probably feels completely alone. Let's take uh, our final break here. We've got our two minute drill around the corner. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff to talk about there, and it's going to be a true two minute drill. It's going to be very short. So, first, we want to tell you where we're at here for the final time this evening. We uh, have had an awesome time at Sticky Bird here in Farmington. If you're not familiar with this restaurant, it's amazing. And uh, they got a bunch of TVs up. We've got football, basketball. We've even got some like championship speedboat racing, Scott, over Which here. Which has been fascinating to watch. Have you by been the way? watching it? Yes. It's, it is wild. I've to been watch. riveted to the TV. <laughs> it's insane. Yeah. And uh, on top of it, so amazing. Sticky finger combos. You can get the uh, the awesome sticky finger tacos as well. But on top of it, this is part of a of a whole academy. The Red Barn Academy is a nonprofit two year life skills academy for men who struggle with addiction, incarceration, and homelessness. Go to redbarnfarms.org to find out more about how uh, you could get involved with that, how you can help, how you can donate. Uh, but they're also hosting a massive deal tomorrow here in Farmington. It's located just north of Farmington Station, so it's easy to find. Uh, so uh, you want to be able to come down Red Barn Lane here in Farmington, Utah. Just like I said, right down the street here from the from the uh, Cabela's across the road here, and uh, it's easy to find just north of the uh, Farmington Station if you know where that is. So come up, see them tomorrow. The sh- the car show starts at noon, and so you can come down and see them. It's all part of what they're doing here. Let me give you that that uh, website again: RedBarnFarms.org. RedBarnFarms.org. 